Hey everyone, today we're going to be embroidering some satin robes. So something along the lines of this, right? These nice little satin robes that you can find on Amazon or at your bridal stores. Um, we're going to be doing the personalization across the back side and we'll be using our Rakoma MT1501. Today I'm going to be using my Rakoma 11 inch square hoop and these satin robes. These particular ones are from Amazon, but any supplier will do. You're going to also need a marking device. I'm using this chalk roller here and some temporary spray adhesive. I love the Odif 505. Uh, you're going to need some cutaway stabilizer, some scissors, and a straight edge ruler of some sort. The first thing you're going to want to do is lay your robe out across a table or an ironing board like I've done here and we're just going to mark three inches up from the bottom of the armhole. So where that armhole meets the body of the robe, you're going to line your ruler up straight across and mark three inches up. Next, you're going to want to find the center of the robe, so mark either even with the tag or if you have a seam like I did on this one, mark straight down the center of the robe. For more embroidery projects, make sure you like and subscribe. We are going to want to make this stabilizer nice and tacky, so we are going to spray it with this adhesive spray here, and that's going to prevent the fabric from shifting while it's embroidering. I like to place mine inside of a box before I spray it because it can get a bit messy. Okay, so next I have my kind of tacky stabilizer. It's not really that sticky, but it's enough to kind of hold down the material or adhere it into place. So then I'm gonna just kind of take my, my um, robe here, place it right in the center, and then you wanna just take a second and smooth out all of those bumps, really making sure that everything is nice and as straight as you can make it. So it's kind of like when you apply a decal or a sticker and you're kind of starting in the middle and spreading out from there, just getting all of those little bumps out of the, uh, the fabric. That looks pretty good to me. There are going to be like a few little bumps here and there still, but can't really make anything super perfect. You just try your best. So you might see have a hard time seeing it, but I still have that X right in here. Um, then you're going to go ahead and grab your hoop. So I'm using the Rakoma. 11, it's 11.14 11 inches by 11.14 11 inches. So it's this nice big square one. And I'm just gonna line this up, make sure everything is nice and even on here. And then line up my stabilizer on top of that. You're going to grab your hoop, make sure you have it the right direction with your little hook on the top right. And you're just going to press, lock it in. Oops. So 
So it can take, it can get a little shifty, but as long as we can still see that X, it doesn't necessarily have to be perfectly centered because we can adjust it on the machine. So the important part is just getting a nice tight hoop. That looks like I might have to loosen it just a tad. There we go. So get it in. Okay. Okay, so that hoop is nice and tight. It's not going anywhere. And you have a nice drum sound to that hooping. So now we're ready to go to the machine. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and place this on the machine. And so now I have the design back on the machine and I'm going to just trace to make sure everything is good to go. So we're going to hit that trace button here. And now it's tracing just fine. So as you can see, it's well off center, right? It needs to be moved way up to where this, this little cross hatch is. So I'm gonna come back to this machine here, or the panel, and we're just gonna move this arrow. So that looks pretty centered now. Got it here. It's pretty centered. And what you want to do is come over to this little lock button and hit the, the lock to remove your embroidery status. Then you're going to go ahead and hit the button again to enter embroidery status. So what that does is it's going to lock it into place. So now when I trace, it will be, it'll come back to the center that I just set. And as you can see, it landed right in the center where I had just set it to. So now we're good to go. We have it, um, the correct color selected, and we're just gonna hit the start button. Okay, so it is done and it looks nice and crisp. So we're just gonna come back over to the table now. And we're just gonna take this off the hoop. Okay, so we just took it off of the hoop and we're gonna go ahead and just peel this stabilizer away from the fabric all the way around 
right? So it's nice and loose now. And then what we're gonna do is you're gonna take your scissors and you're gonna cut all the way around, leaving about a half an inch to an inch. Um, so I always do it on this side, right? Because you wanna be seeing the fabric. If I did it from this side, you don't know if you're gonna be cutting into the fabric. So that's always really important. When I first started, I ruined a couple items uh, that way. So lessons learned. So we're just cutting around here. So this is what it looks like on this side, right? Just a little bit of stabilizer all the way around. Um, and that's just to maintain the um, integrity of the stitches. Otherwise, if you did tear away with this, when you wash it, it's just gonna wrinkle up. So here you can see that it's nice and flat. There's not a lot of um, bunching to that material, which is really good. So, and then just some finishing touches. Um, I have this little cloth bag. I'm not exactly sure what this material is, but it works perfect to take off any excess um, chalk that we have. So I just kind of rub it and erase the lines. You don't want to use water on it because that will uh, actually just set that chalk a little bit more, kind of like if you were to make a paste with the chalk. So that looks pretty good. So here is the finished product. Thanks for watching our video. If you found this tutorial helpful or you would like more embroidery content, make sure you like and subscribe. Let us know in the comments what you'd like to see us make next.